Hello guys, in today's video, we'll talk about some simple steps that will help you make your biology and CRT on a better day. To all the neat aspirants out there, I just want to share a simple thing with you. Make your biology and CRT your Bible and to learn it, to make it on your fingertips should be your prime goal. So in this video, I'll be sharing 5 simple steps with you that will help you a lot to make your biology and CRT on your fingertips. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Decide the topic you wish to learn thoroughly and read the topic twice on your own. This will help you become familiar with the topic. Step number 2 is understand the topic, feel the topic. For this, you can take help of YouTube videos or your school teachers, your coaching teachers that will help you make the topic understand better. Then finally, your topic should be prepared at that level that each and every word should be understood. After understanding each and every word of the topic, after having a proper feel of the topic, take a pencil and convert the whole topic into short points. For example, if you have decided to learn the topic photorespiration, convert it into points in this way. When converting the whole topic into small points, it would be damn easy for you to learn it. Now just imagine that on one side you have a big long paragraph and on the other side you have that same paragraph converted into small points. Now your brain will find the points to be much easier than this whole long paragraph. And so this is a small trick to make your brain feel to the whole paragraph to be much easier than it is which will help you memorize the topic for a much longer time. After learning the 5 to 6 points that you have made of that topic, just keep revising that 6 points in your mind for about 10 minutes. You should repeat that points in your mind for about 2 to 3 times until you feel that you have properly learned it. If the topic has some enchanting diagrams related with it, first try to memorize the whole diagram and then try to make it on your own either on a white plain sheet of paper along with all the labelings that it has or you can make it on a white board if you have with a black marker. It will help you memorize the diagrams very well and recall them whenever you want. Now while making points from the topic, if you feel that topic has some numerical figures or some important scientific terms into it that you feel you can forget after some time, then what you should do? You should take a different colored pen or a highlighter and just highlight that important figures or that important terms. This will help you in such a way that when you open your book for the last time to revise that topic again, just uh, some time before your test or before your exam, then that important words, highlighted words will get into your mind directly. And when you are solving your question paper, they will strike into your mind and this will help you a lot to attempt that question better. Like you can easily see I have highlighted all the important points that I feel that I can forget very easily. I haven't highlighted the whole NCRT, I have just highlighted some particular points that I feel that I can forget. One important tip that most of the students forget is to read the summary. Actually, not to read the summary, to learn the summary. Now, for summary, if you really want to score full marks in your institution test, in your school test, or even in me, just follow the same steps which I told you for to follow for the topics. Like, first, read the summary. Next, understand the summary. Third, make points for the summary. And fourth, memorize the points again and again in your mind, which will help you fix your summary again in your mind so well that you'll be able to recall it whenever you want. If you have completed the first four steps religiously, I mean very faithfully, then here comes the last step is to practice. From practice, I mean to say practice as many MCQs you can from that particular topic or if you have prepared the whole chapter from that particular chapter. For practicing MCQs, I should recommend that you should follow your institution material. It will be best for you to practice NCRT questions. You can practice from any other book that focuses on NCRT lines. Practice as many questions as you can that are directly framed from in between lines of NCRT by applying a stopwatch beside you. 
note your time that in 10 minutes how many questions can you solve your ratio should be like in 10 minutes you should be able to solve 20 questions as biology is just learning so you can easily read the question and tick the options note the time you're taking during the first practice while solving questions and try to improve it day by day like for example first day in 10 minutes you were able to solve 10 questions then next day you should target for 15 questions in that same 10 minutes and the next day 20 if you're able to solve more than that then well done solving questions you should not forget accuracy that is you have to solve questions with accuracy and speed at the same time you should learn that by solving questions the question has to be correct too well doing it fast. Do not forget this ghost of negative marking. This negative marking due to our mistake can bring us from this to this. And it's when you are sitting in a competition, this difference matters a lot. So just take your time to answer it. Don't do it in a hurry. Just take your time to understand the question, to learn all the options and think it then choose the right option. This is the best way to solve any MCQ question. I learned my whole MCR team by just following these 5 simple steps and for you too I feel that these 5 steps will surely work. So do give it a try and share your feedback with me in the comments that how you feel like while doing all these 5 steps whether it helped you or not. So like this video, share this video, comment down below and the most important thing subscribe to my channel Suhani's Fear. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.